Well, businesses in Seattle's U District have already been hit hard by the pandemic, but with UW classes going mostly online for the fall, restaurants and shops are bracing for a slowdown far worse than the Great Recession. King 5's Callie Greenberg talked with a few business owners. She's live in the U District this morning where students, Callie, would typically be returning to campus right about now. Good morning. Good morning. We've seen things pick up in other neighborhoods here. Things remained really quiet still, and it's exactly because of that. Kids aren't moving on to campus this year. In fact, the U District, when you think about it, it's really its own uh, ecosystem with 50 to 60,000 students and staff. All of that's going to be missing, which is a demographic that is typically big on spending, those college students. So the businesses here that I spoke to say they are really hurting and they see no end in sight at this point in time. In fact, here's what they were saying. They say revenue is down anywhere from 70 to 90 percent compared to where it was last year. And there's a general consensus that many of the restaurants in the U District might not survive. We spoke with Portage Bay Cafe, uh, one of the owners there, which has been around for more than 20 years. Last year, they saw a record number in sales. This year, the shop has cut hours. It has added tables outside to boost business, but still they're expected to do about 30% of the business that they did last year. So I don't know. I mean, it's, we're having meetings all the time about what are we going to do going into, into the next end of fall? Because as the PPP runs out, the weather gets worse. You have to stay inside. Uh, you can't have your outside decks anymore. It's, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge for every restaurant. And that seems to be the conversation a lot of businesses are having, taking things month by month, sometimes even week by week. Now, I spoke to people with the Ugly Mug, as well as Brett and ba or Barack and Baguette. Those are other restaurants here in the U District. One thing interesting that they pointed out is they have locations in other neighborhoods that aren't doing great, but they're doing better than their locations here in the U District. That just goes to show this is directly related to the lack of students coming back to campus. What John Gunner there with Portage Bay Cafe said is moving forward, the survival of this neighborhood is really dependent on the kindness of others, whether that be customers, if you're in the neighborhood and you can grab something, or whether or not they're going to get more financial help from the government. In the University District, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.